Hey guys, welcome back to Porter Valley Ranch. Today is day four of our quarantine quarantine. For those of you who haven't been watching, Zeke, our oldest son, got the corona. And luckily the other four of us got tested and we don't have it yet. We tested negative, but we're still quarantined for at least two weeks. So we are making the most of it. 10 days, 10 videos, 10 giveaways. We've given away a couple t-shirts. We're gonna give another t-shirt away at the end of this video. Uh, but we wanted to say thanks to those of you who reached out and commented on our videos and told Zeke you were praying for him and wished him well. That really helped us out, helped him feel better. Um, and that's what today's video is about. It's about helpfulness. So those of you that know our goats, our nanny goats went to Oklahoma City. Uh, they are gonna be bred so that we can have some kids in the spring. So they're in Oklahoma City and we got an unexpected visit to go see them a few days ago uh, because at my parents' house there was an ice storm. So we actually took a chainsaw crew from our church down to Oklahoma City and we were able to help my parents out uh, clearing some of those trees, clearing the debris off their house. So that's what the video is about today, just about being helpful, being um, gracious with the things that we have, the time that we have, the talents that we have. And I'm super thankful to my friends who were able to go down there with us. And that's what this video is about. Make sure you stick around till the end because we're gonna give away another t-shirt and I hope you enjoy. I'm Sam Porter, National Director of Southern Baptist Disaster Relief and Send Relief. Just because you're the National Director does not mean that you may not have some problems of your own with disasters. You can see behind me that a part of an ice storm that has hit Oklahoma the last week of October, which is really a month and a half ahead of time when normally ice storms hit Oklahoma. It's very historic. As a matter of fact, it's a very large ice storm that is already impacted at least 300,000 homes. If you multiply an average of three people per home, that means there's 900,000 people in Oklahoma right now today without power. And it's supposed to go another 24 hours of rain, freezing rain, and trees. And as you can see behind me, these trees have fallen on my property. I have about 50 or 60 trees down on a 20 acre property that we live on. And they're, they're, they're fallen on our home, on our barn, on our fences. And, and many times if they weren't trimmed for the electric company, they've fallen on power lines and they've taken power lines down. This kind of magnitude in Oklahoma will take three or four weeks to clean all, all of it up. And also it may take over a week or more for the electricity to be returned to the homes. So at this time, if you'll please pray for the people that are affected by the ice storm in Oklahoma and North in West Texas. Hey everybody, we are here with Solace Chainsaw Crew and we are at my dad's house, Sam Porter, who is the National Director for the Disaster Relief of Send Relief. Um, he has been helping with disasters, especially this year. He's been about nine weeks down on the Gulf Coast helping out with all the hurricane victims. And just last week, his house actually got hit by an ice storm. So he has about 50 trees down here on his property and his neighbors have a lot of trees down. So while he's been helping other people, we're really excited to be able to come help him out. So we brought eight guys from Solace Church plus my family and we are going to cut and haul and move and shred all these trees up so that we can um, help get his house cleaned up because now he has to go back to the Gulf and help people with the other hurricane that just hit down there. So hopefully we can get a lot of work done today. We've got a lot of guys and a lot of machinery and it should be a fun day.
What are you doing, Kai? Do you all feel like you're about to be pranked? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> well, I would climb over the fence and hop in there, but now it's nine feet, so I can't. <laughs> up here on the tractor if no one would please let OSHA know uh, what's going on. All right, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it was really cool to be able to go help my parents out. My dad helps people all over the world all the time. So to be able to go to his house and help him and my mom clean their place up, keep it safe for their animals was really cool. Uh, good experience for, for me and my friends and my family. So really appreciate all of those people for going down there and helping them. Uh, today is day four. Uh, update on Zeke, he's doing a lot better. He is up and around doing things. The only thing that we're noticing is he just doesn't have uh, much stamina. His energy level is good, and then he does something, then he gets tired again. So we're trying to keep him um, outside as much as we can. He came outside and played basketball for a little while. He came and watched us build the barn for a little while, but then he gets tired and has to go back inside and rest. So he's doing better, uh, much better. Everybody else is still healthy, so that's good, that's great. Uh, we are gonna give away a t-shirt. So I'm gonna come over here. Uh, Rachel's painting the barn over here. For those of you that have been following our little barn project, it is coming along. And we got a little reindeer up here in this tree. So Jet, I need you 
to pick a number between 1 and 42. Uh, 43. That is not between 1 and 42. That is just outside of that window. So try again. Between 1 and 42. Smaller than 43. Uh, 41. 41. You want to pick number 41? Uh-huh. Are you sure about that? I'm sure. Hey, yesterday some people were watching our videos and they saw two little reindeers dancing around in a dance competition and some of them thought that you were a pretty good dancer. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so what number did you pick again? Uh, 41. 41. So that's going to be the very last comment. Let's see which one it was. That is going to be... Eunice Henderson. Eunice Henderson. Eunice Henderson says, let him go outside, fresh air and vitamin D will do him good. Uh, Eunice, we did that. We let Zeke outside yesterday and you are absolutely correct. It did make him feel better and you are the winner of our t-shirt. So make sure you email the email address at the bottom of the description. Tell us your t-shirt size, your mailing address, and we'll get that t-shirt sent out to you. Everybody else, make sure you comment on this video. Make sure you like and subscribe to Porter Valley Ranch. We're gonna give away another t-shirt tomorrow. That'll be day five. So we'll see you guys then.